So here's the bottom line question, the $64 million question for you today, and that is, in, in your estimation as a scientist, as a Ph.D. graduate from Harvard, uh, in your estimation, can evolution explain, can evolution explain the biological world adequately? I think it cannot. If you take a look honestly, I think if you honestly look at the major attributes of the biological world, we've only mentioned a few, by the way. There's some others, like community, interactions among organisms. Uh, the, there's, a, there's a variety of characteristics we haven't even mentioned. If you look at all of them, you'll find that evolutionary theory fails to explain any of them, not a single one of them. Evolutionists have been working for, uh, for centuries now, Thousands of evolutionists are working on this every year, using millions of tax dollars in the, in the process, yet they have been unsuccessful in creating successful theories to explain the major features of the biological world. In contrast, all the major characteristics of life are exactly what you would expect if the God of creation, in fact, wanted to show us his attributes in those things that are made. The point is, there are so many professors and PhDs and doctors and scientists and biologists who just won't come off of evolution. E even though you make some very good, you know, logical comments, they just won't come off of it. Why is it that people in your field who claim to promote academic freedom want to shut the debate down at the point of there being alternatives to origins other than evolution. Well, again, I have to come back to what I said last week. We're in the midst of a war. The Christian worldview that God wants us to have and is abundantly made evident to us in those things that are made, uh, there are some rulers, there are some powers around here, Satan and so on, don't want that to happen. And they are fighting it. There is a fight that's occurring within our culture, in our school systems, in our media that's trying to attack the Christian perspective of things. Naturalism, if naturalism is right, then obviously everything in the Bible is wrong. And if, in fact, uh, evolution is not right and creation is, creation is right, then naturalism is wrong. So their whole worldview, that alternative that they want to promote in place of the Christian worldview, that, that the naturalistic worldview would be wrong. They have to hold to it. They have to hold tenaciously to it. And they have to say such things as, hey, you, you're an idiot if you believe in creation, or you, you're, you're unwise or you've got your head in the sand to believe in evolution. Even though the Bible would say those people are willingly ignorant of the truth that's evident about them, they have to, they're forced to say, this is the way, this explains things, when in fact it doesn't. They, they, can't, they can't afford to let go of it yeah. because their whole worldview would fall apart.